Jean, Senator Shaheen says over the last three weeks she's been involved in a dozen hearings and briefings and spent close to 50 hours listening to experts and carefully weighing this decision. In the end, she decided signing on is the best available option. We need to prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon, and this is the best way to do it. Senator Jean Shaheen is announcing her support for the president's nuclear agreement with Iran. Speaking and with and News 9 at her home in Madbury, so. Shaheen says the deal, while imperfect, is better than the alternative. If we walk away from this agreement, we'll see the sanctions regime fall apart. Um, we will be there by ourselves, and Iran will continue its march to a nuclear weapon. So I don't think that's a viable option. Even so, Senator Shaheen still expects Iran to continue its state sponsorship of terrorism. This is not about um, making Iran an ally. Uh, they will continue to be an enemy. This is about can we verify that they will not be able to produce a nuclear weapon. Shaheen believes the only way this will work is if the U.S. and its allies remain hypervigilant and respond to violations of the deal with snapback sanctions. But this afternoon, New Hampshire Republicans are calling Shaheen a blind supporter of the White House, saying, quote, President Obama's reckless deal will not only undermine our strong alliance with Israel, it will allow the Iranian regime to develop a nuclear weapon in the future. Republicans on the 2016 campaign trail are comparing the deal to the appeasement of the Nazis before World War II. They're running for president. I, I think this is an agreement that should be judged on its own merits. We should take it out of a partisan lens and we should look at it for what's in the best interest of the United States, what's in the best interest of our allies. Senator Shaheen is now the fourth Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee to back the Iran nuclear deal. Republicans hoping to block the president would need roughly a dozen Democratic votes to do so. Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.